Hey guys, today I'd like to do a review of an item I recently picked up. This is a knife made by Case, and it's the Case Hobo Knife. And by hobo knife, that basically means it's a knife, but also includes some utensils with it, so a fork and spoon. And, you know, for a long time, I always thought hobo knives were pretty dorky. I've seen them at Walmart and, you know, the $5 little you know, utensil sets that I figured I would never use. Uh, but until I got turned on to this one, uh, Mr. Monkey Man 50 recommended it, so a special th shout out to him. I uh, just love this knife. It is... It is really cool. Uh, this is my first kind of major uh, case knife that I've pur purchased. You know, I have other knives, you know, that these are about the similar price as the Benchmade Griptilian. But when you hold something about holding a case knife and looking at the craftsmanship of it and the quality, it's just something else. They're, you know, they, they advertise that on their boxes, that there's nothing like holding a case knife in your, in your hand. And I always thought that was just a little marketing ploy, but they are absolutely correct with this. When you hold these uh, case knives, and this hobo knife in particular, it is just awesome. Uh, it's, you could just tell the, the craftsmanship that was involved with it. It just fe it, you could tell that this thing is actually, it's going to outlive me, that's for sure. Um, and it's just, it's extremely, everything's, everything just works exactly how it, it, you would imagine it should work. And that's what I really like about it. So not only can this be a great, you know, backup knife for you, it has a, a three and one quarter inch blade, uh, but the utensils actually make it actually very special. And it's something that's, you know, you, know, you might not want to use this daily, but it's a very collectible type item, uh, which I, I just think it's awesome. <laughs> So I can't, I can't say enough about the craftsmanship of it, the quality of it. It's just, uh, it's a beautiful, um, if you could see the, the level of detail and all the engravings that are all in the knife and all, just the way the springs, you know, the sound they make when it, when it opens up, it's just, you just kind of want to keep doing it over and over again because it's, it, it works how it's supposed to work. It's, so, ah, that just, that's just nice. <laughs> I don't, I don't have that same feeling with, uh, you know, normal knives that I carry on me. Anyway, let's get back to the case. So I'm not going to go into all the specs on this. Basically, the blade is a uh, three and a quarter inch, and uh, it weighs about 7.7 .7 ounces. So that's a little heavy, but it gives you a lot of functionality. I'm going to put all the specs down below in the description. Uh, I'm not going to go into the type of steel that's made and the type of bone that's used on the handle and all of that. I'm just going to give you my impressions of the overall design of it and the functionality of it. So when you when you order a case, you get this nice little um, basic this big write up on case on the history of it and the materials that are used. So I can include a lot of that in the description, but, but I found that very handy. If you want to know anything more about case knives, I recommend don't go to Wikipedia, don't go to Case, go to on YouTube, go to Stefan's channel. That's HT Small House. I'm going to put a link there in the description. He is the YouTube case expert. And his, you know, if you go to Wikipedia, it should just automatically forward right to his page on YouTube because he has a nice showcase of on, on his uh, case knives, his collection that he has. And it's just, it's just entertaining. It's thoroughly uh, researched and presented. And it's just a, it's great, uh, great channel, great video. So that's one of the better uh, YouTube videos I've ever seen. So I highly recommend going there to, if you want to know more about case. So originally when I saw these knives, I always thought it was a little dorky. I, would, I didn't want to have like a you know, spoon that I'd have to use for eating and uh, then have to, okay, now it's time to eat uh, with the fork, so, and then bust out the fork. I always thought that was a little dorky about these hobo knives. Uh, but uh, with this particular knife, with the case hobo knife, it just doesn't work like that. It's it's very well designed. So when you uh, open up the, sp the spoon like that, again, here, notice the nice sound that it makes. It's a, I don't know, it's not the largest spoon in the world. It's a little smaller than an, uh, your average kitchen teaspoon. Uh, but it's definitely bigger than a baby spoon, that's for sure. I always thought this was some kind of bottle opener over here, on the, but I, what I realized is that it actually holds that spoon into the whole kind of uh, hobo knife set. So what you do is you pull that out, and then it becomes its own, you know, separate spoon that you could use for eating. And, it, and so, you know, in a normal place settings like that. And so then on this side, you'd, you'd have the knife and the, and the fork still remaining. So you could take apart the knife here if you want to. The knife stays intact like that. It doesn't slide out. So the only things that really slide out are the, the spoon and the, the fork part of it. So if you wanted to, you could just still use that knife as a you know, general pocket knife if you want. So, But when you do the uh, same thing with the fork, 
this is kind of a, it's like a tuning fork. It's a little smaller of a fork. Uh, it makes the same great snap, which I, I've been doing probably 50 times now just because it feels so good. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little smaller than normal forks, but it, again, once you open it up, that this little thing that looks like it's a, like a bottle opener, it actually, it's what holds the, the knife together. So let me see if I can get this out. There it goes. And so, you know, if you're gonna have your normal place setting at dinner, you could use this hobo knife set just like that. And uh, you have a you know a complete utensil set. So you have a fork, you have knife and spoon. This could be used as a you know, secondary knife if you want to. And it's just really, really slick, really smartly, uh, just very smart design on it. And it's just beautiful. You just want to look at it all the time and just ooh and on ah uh, over it. So there's some other options if you wanted to do you know get your own little silverware set. You could go you know get these little REI the cheap one dollar nylon uh, you know utensil set. You could go a little fancier, get a seat of summit made of titanium ones. Uh, you could get the, you know, the famous spork, <laughs> which it is a bigger spoon than what you would have on the case, hobo. All of them are, and they're bigger forks and everything. But, you know, these things, it's just, uh, I, I, I hate sporks. So I'll, <laughs> and this is a backup, you know, only use. Uh, but the case is just, just the, the collectible aspect of it just makes it alone just like a, a really cool thing to have. Not only cool, uh, and it, but it, just the collectible part aspect of it is uh, really desirable for me. Uh, this thing is gonna, uh, you could pass it down to my kids someday, you know, to baby prepper, I and mean, he, could, he could still have this thing and rock it. You know, these things, they're gonna be worth, you know, what's this, worth three bucks? And this is, you know, almost eight, about $80 here. Uh, but, you know, down the road, you know, is my kid gonna want this? No. Uh, can I use this as a you know, backup pocket knife? No. Can I use a, even the titanium one as a backup pocket knife? No, not really. Uh, but with the with the case hobo, you definitely can. It's a very sharp blade too. It comes uh, the case knives come extremely sharp right out of the box. Now let's see what some other things to talk about with it. Uh, just the, the overall balance, the weight, and how it's centered in here. It's 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 just it, it's very smart. It's kind of, I, I imagine it, it's supposed to look like this when it's on the table because when you're eating at a dinner table, you know you have your fork over here, you have your knife pointing towards the plate, and you have the spoon over here. So I, I when I originally thought it, I thought this was you know was more, mainly a right-handed uh, hobo knife. But really, uh, you know, this is meant for kind of a place setting. So when you're eating, you're usually going to grab the spoon with your right hand and eat eat like that. And so then the fork is, I thought this, it, it looks a little bit left-handed, but uh, so when you're at the place setting, you know, you're going to eat it just like that too. So, so I th it's just brilliant, I thought. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Uh, some other things. I don't, geez, I don't, I, I can keep rambling on about how much I like the overall design of it, the weight, uh, the feel of it, just the quality of the engraving that you have on here, the, the case logo. Uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful uh, knife set, and it's it'd be great for, uh, you know, it's a little heavy to have on EDC, but you definitely could, and if, especially if you had any kind of EDC backpack or a, a man purse or something like that, having that in there would just, uh, it's not only is it functional, but it, you, when, it, when you busted that out, it's gonna, people are gonna go, wow, that is awesome, guaranteed. Uh, you're not gonna get that when you bust out your, your, your cheapo nylon uh, REI <laughs> utensil set. So putting it back together is fairly easy as well. So let's see. Yeah, you just put it on there. there there's little holes in here like that. So. And it, it's going to come apart if you if you don't until you you know close that. Then it's locked into place. And so then you do the same thing with the fork. And there, there you have it. That's your case hobo knife. And now, whenever I think of hobo, you know, I think of like a homeless guy. Some people might call him a bum. Just, you know, some guy that's living on the streets, a hobo. But any guy that's on the street, a hobo that's using this, that's a high-class hobo. So they, K should really rename this to the Case High-Class Hobo Knife. Because uh, if you're a hobo using this uh, little uh, knife, I mean, you're doing pretty well. Because this is it's just awesome. I guess uh, you know, it's just it's just really cool. I can't, I can't say enough about the, how beautiful it is. I don't say that much about knives and gear that I have, but this thing really is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a perfectly made design. It just feels really great in the hand. It's not, it's not definitely not one of those cheap Walmart looking hobo knives that you've all seen that run, you know, f five to ten bucks and it just looks cheap and crappy and it's going to bend. This thing is going to outlive all of us. Let's just hear that again. Oh man. <laughs> I'm going to do it again on the fork.
just because it's so much fun. Yeah, that's just, that is just nice. Again, the knife is just razor sharp right out of the box. And it's just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I'm rambling now about how, how nice it is and how collectible and how much I like it. You know what? I like this thing so much. It is so nice that I actually, I don't want to keep it. I want to give it to one of you guys because I think you, you'll you probably enjoy it even more than I will. It's too nice of a knife for me to have. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, subscribe right now. You could click right there, I think. Uh, to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be giving this thing away to one of you guys. Uh, I, I Originally when I started my channel, I, I, I didn't want to give away knives. That was going to be the one thing because there's a lot of knife uh, sites on YouTube. But this one's a little different. It's a little fancier. It's a you know the hobo knife with a utensil. So I'm giving away utensils. So this thing's so nice. I, I can't uh, feel good about owning it myself. I want to give it to one of you guys. So uh, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out on some future videos because I'll show you how you can get this knife. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any questions regarding the hobo, the case hobo knife, uh, please you know write a comment below. If you have any questions regarding case, don't go to Wikipedia, don't go to Google, go to St. Smallhouse, go to Stefan's page, and he has a, a awesome case series on knives. So uh, he he should be your YouTube resource for knives. Uh, again, uh, thanks for all the support on the, on the channel. This thing is just absolutely awesome. It's beautiful. It runs about. Uh, $80 online if you get it. If you, you might be able to find a better deal on eBay. Uh, so eBay, you might be able to get it for $65 maybe. Uh, or between $65 $75. And that's as of uh, August. What is it? August of 2011. So again, the case, Hobo Knife, highly recommended. Uh, if you know, if you <laughs> like, uh, you know, utensils, you definitely use this. You know, it's actually probably even more value, useful to have than a general multi-tool because how many times a day do you use you know, pliers, but how many times a day do you use a fork? You know, you probably use a fork a lot more. So I could see why someone might want to just carry this as an EDC knife and or a multi-tool for them because they're more likely to use a spoon and fork than they are uh, uh, pliers and, uh, you know, some of the other uh, file or whatever so on their multi-tool. Again, the, the, the spoon and the fork, they're a little small on the small side, uh, but I, it would just look a little... I think Case wanted to also not only make it functional, but actually... Uh, uh, beautiful looking so uh, you know having the this is a great perfect size for this kind of a uh, hobo knife so again that's the review of the case hobo knife if you want this you could uh subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out and i'll give it to you so i hope you guys have a great day talk to you later bye